Hey guys, I'm Jason Hall with LifePoint Church in Florida. I just wanted to share with you today about click tracks and maybe how to incorporate those into your services. Whether you're a large church or small church, I believe the information I'll share with you today will be something that can add to your ministry. On any given Sunday, you can't always expect everyone to always make it. So what helps me out is when I have click tracks or I have a multi-track that's available, I can always add that particular instrument into the service. We don't want to overcomplicate it. We just want to give you information that can enhance your ministry. All right, so let's get started. Okay, now I'm going to show you the software that I prefer, which is by Ableton, and it's called Live. Um, it's either for Mac or PC. I prefer the Mac version. And real quick, let me give you a demonstration of what that looks like. Um, I won't dive in too in depth just because I'll let you do that for yourself if you decide to buy the software. So anyways, I have inside of Ableton, I have all of my uh, rhythm tracks and click tracks already laid out on an individual channel. And um, they all have their own individual uh, tempos and time signatures next to them. Okay, let me show you one that sounds, um, that just has a click to it and the backing um, pads and, and synths and things like that. Uh, let's choose... Um, let's choose Your Love Never Fails. And what you'll hear is you'll hear a click and you'll also hear the uh, pads and other things to make that song up. Intro, two, three, four. That's a guitar intro. And now it starts. So as you can tell, it's pretty simple. You'll hear the left click coming out of the left channel, and then you'll hear all the other pads and the other elements, the sequenced uh, sounds coming out of the right channel. Uh, that's really easy to, um, to route those individually like that. Um, let me show you another track that, um, that is courtesy of praisecharts.com. That's where I really like to get um, a lot of these click tracks are available. Most people don't know that, but you can find these tracks for some of the most popular songs that's out there. And um, it's, it's a great resource for you. They also have rhythm tracks and click tracks. The difference between a click track and rhythm track is the click is just going to have a click in the left ear, and the right side is going to be the basic pads and strings and things like that. Um, a rhythm track has the drums and it has the bass. So sometimes you can get lucky and find that perfect song you're looking for uh, through praisecharts.com. If not, you can create your own. But let me show you one real quick that has... Um, it has a drum to it that I added through Ableton. Let me show you that. Here's Our God by Chris Tomlin. And it has a click on the left and then the drums and all the other instruments on the right. One, two, three, four. Anyway, so that gives you an idea of what it sounds like with the drums. Let me show you a rhythm track. Um, this is One Thing Remains. If you notice, this one does not have a click, but you can add a metronome if you would like to. And see what this does is it gives you so many different uh, options to choose from, whether it be rhythm, click, you can even have it midied and just use pads on a separate channel that to, in, in maybe to enhance your keyboard sounds. Uh, but there's so many things you can do with it. One of the things that I really like to share with you real quick is the metronome function. Uh, it's really easy to use. 
and it's great for rehearsals. If you've never played with a click track, I'd recommend starting this way first. Um, this little button here is your metronome. You enable that. You set your tempo up, whatever you prefer. Just say we'll go 120 beats per minute. And then you hit spacebar on your computer. It's that simple. And once again, everything is routed to the left-hand side, and it will not come out of the right channel. That would be, uh, you would save room for that for your actual pads or your other backing tracks. Just say you wanted to change it to a slow song. It's as simple as entering a new um, number. It'd just say 80 beats per minute. Now it instantly changes. You can also change the um, uh, key signatures, um, and if you have a certain loop that you're using, you can change that to whatever key you want. It's really simple. Um, and also you can change your time signatures really easy. Let's say we'll make this 3-4. Now you notice it changed. Um, you can download a trial version of the Ableton software through their site, and it'll give you um, a great experience by just trying it out for a little while. And uh, never try this for the first time in a Sunday service. That would be a nightmare. Something happens, uh, you want to be prepared. So use that in a rehearsal. Um, and in just a minute, I'm going to cover a topic on how to use tracks and clicks if you do not have the software and a computer. So stay tuned. Now, like I said, now we're going to talk about how to use a click track or rhythm track in your services without a computer or Mac and without Ableton software. Um, so the first thing you want to do is when you visit places like praisecharts.com, they're not the only site, but when you visit them, you download either click track or rhythm tracks to your liking, whichever one you choose. And what you can do is this. You can save those in a playlist in iTunes, or you can save it um, on an iPhone, iPad, iPod, any MP3 player you have. You can create playlists, and you can add those tracks to that particular MP3 player. Um, and one thing that you can do is this. If you have a click track, it's important to remember the steps I shared earlier about coming out of your computer an eighth inch jack and splitting it stereo. You'd want to do the same exact thing with your iPad, iPhone, uh, iPod, whatever you may have. You wouldn't want to do the same thing. You want to output it stereo. That way the click track is not being shared in the house, but yet it's coming through to your monitor. That's the first step. The other way is if you download the uh, rhythm tracks is you don't have to worry about the click. You can just run it stereo straight into your board or mono, whichever you prefer, whichever way your systems run, and you don't have to worry about it. Just make sure you have enough monitor at the beginning of the song that you hear the countdown or the click in. Uh, a lot of times they'll have just a four, you have like a one bar, four clicks, and it starts the intro. Be aware of the song and that you're downloading and go over it several times in rehearsal. These are things I shouldn't have to tell you. You guys know all that, I'm sure. But I hope this helps you guys in obtaining some valuable resources and using click tracks and things in your services. So guys, take care and God bless.